Hey guys, Pippo here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a simple effect on Sony Vegas. Doesn't matter what version, I think, but you uh, need to make sure you have uh, Vegas Pro, kind of premium on my free. I'm not sure if you can or not, I've never tried premium, but I don't think it does work. Okay, uh, let me just show you what the effect is. <laughs> Uh, I will be showing you all the effects there, but the main effect that I'm showing you is the screen pump, which is the uh, sort of the screen pump into the beat. So let's go drag our clip in. Alright, so I've got a motion track that I need to put into an edit. Uh, yeah, so. Start for your clip. You can keep your sound if you want. I do not agree with sound. <coughs> I'm just going to lengthen this out as well. It didn't look too smooth, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then, you, I would suggest having a song with at least, you know, a fair beat. I wouldn't go too fast because it can be quite difficult to find the uh, beat but if you if you uh, want a challenge right and use the same song as you just saw for the holidays right now I've got quite a difficult song but I'm sure you'll probably have an easy one <laughs> So every time you hear the beat, the bass. That's one there. You want to click M from to set a marker. I was just about to do one. Okay, now I've only done five markers. You might have a really bass song that goes boom, 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 boom. So it will probably consist of markers and markers and markers and markers and markers, you know, all across. Like, say this was all an individual beat. No, don't worry though. Just, uh, it's just a helpful tip. Make sure you first before you start, you know, doing things with these markers, select the video that you want it to screen pump. Uh, then click the number on the marker so if I click here right then you want to click S for split make sure you don't click anything else you go to the next one you make sure you hit the 2 and then hit the 3 and when you've got a load you need to make sure you hit the next number rather than a random number so say I went from 1 to 5 to back to 3 it can get really complicated and the clip can start to you might get a, <coughs> a little frustrated with the clip because it's not doing it because you would have this you go and select that you go and try and split it and it wouldn't split because you've got that track selected oh shit anyway let's get on to the actual screen pump so you want to go into video event, event effects and pan and crop and for the first individual frame which you got this locked you want to drag it in a little bit depends how much you want it in so you can have it that much I'd say that's a bit too much but so about that much you come in a couple of frames literally like two or three frames and then you go up here and click the arrow and click default that exit out of that and when you play it, you see that it did that screen pump. Now, click copy, and then before you click paste, um, you would like to disable this one because it's not what you want at all. Because you don't want it on the first one. 
So, fuck, I just left the actual name for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I got a new mouse, I'm not very used to it. Uh, and then, just reset the default. Yeah, fix, right. Then, hold control and click all the clips you have. Oh my god. Yeah, and then click paste event attributes. Make sure you copy that clip before you got rid of all those keyframes like I just did. And let's just pre render. Okay. Yeah, so you can see you already get a screen pump. Now, in the video I showed you at the beginning, I had it where when it's screen pumped from the first pump, it uh, did some sort of uh, lens, CC lens, and uh, switched the color correction. So what we want to do for a start is add a new track, uh, insert video track, change this to custom, so change the layer to custom, and I hit Sony height map. You just want to drag that out and wait a minute. You can actually just close that as well. And then you want to drag in epileptic, epileptical ring, or whatever it's called. And you already get this effect. Uh, so you want to try and make this as spherical as possible. I didn't do that in the video I shown you. It was kind of a rush. But that's almost perfect. That is, I reckon that's almost perfect actually. So you see that will drag out like so. Okay, right, let me just drag this back in. Oh, fuck. No, 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 three's got one more. Yeah, there's an order of these numbers as well. You need to, you need to track, keep track of. So the two needs to be in the middle. Number one needs to be directly in the middle of the, the uh, sphere. And three needs to be on the outside. Don't worry about the colour either. Anyway, right. I'm going to drag it up to where your base is, so it only happens when you get to here. And then scroll in and bring it in a couple of seconds. Then get to two frames after the base hit. And split it. And delete the other track, the rest of the track. Now I'm going to do event pan crop. Oh shit, sorry I just dove my Xbox. Uh, then drag it all the way out. So it's very small. So as you see on the screen, it's quite small. And bring it in until the base hits. So well, that's here. And drag it all the way in. Until you just cannot see it at all. So yeah and then click X and you get that sort of and it's not perfect but it, I mean that's it does give a bit more of a smack to the hit you can go into custom oh shit you can go into custom and you can play around with some of the different things so you could do this oh shit I've got to run this one that a little longer actually. Oh, I've got a in my back. Anyway, yeah, you can sort of see different things changing. You can change the height scale. The elevation. And the amplitude. And you can change the intensity. So it could just be a whole blur here. Wow, we not. Let's just bring that down to about. Uh, about 18. Yep. 
Now, now you wanted it into the color correction. So you go to video effects. Uh, I use uh, Magic Bullets for my effects, for my uh, color corrections. I don't know about you guys if you use you know, like the color corrector in Sony Vegas. It's not that good. Uh, I recommend getting Magic Bullet looks. Uh, I'm just going to drag in, uh, drag in this one. And you just want to drag it into the clip. I'm just actually going to do it to all these clips. I've just added it to that one. Yeah, make sure you don't, if you're using Magic Bullet looks and you're new, do not add uh, like this. I've just done it twice. You want to make sure you want to tick that because you only want to do it once. And for me, it's not doing it. There we go. I've got to do it individually. Anyway, guys, that will be the screen pump tutorial. I didn't do the flashes because, well. I just could be asked. Uh, if I get 15 likes, I will do a screen pump with flashes tutorial and an Element 3D motion tracking tutorial on After Effects. So keep liking and share it with all your friends and stuff if you want uh, more tutorials. I've been Hippo. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.